one, zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known as NASA. NASA. NASA was established in 1958 under Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh. NASA's program was said to start as a national defense tactic against the evil Soviets. <laughs> Most people know of the Cold War and the space race between the United States and Soviet Russia, but not much of its origins is ever discussed. You know that Russia sent the first man into orbit and U.S. landed people on the moon. So who were these amazing people behind NASA? They had such an extraordinary vision and accomplished so much. While many people were involved in the making of NASA, there are two key figures that stick out. Oh. NASA. The first is a man named Jack Parsons, an American engineer and chemist. Oh. He also founded JPL. Oh. Now JPL is the federally funded research and development center that is the foundation of NASA. It builds all of its spacecraft. Who is Parsons? Not much is known of him. It is known that he was born in LA. He was a wealthy kid and loved science fiction. Which is funny because he later grew to become close friends with none other than L. Ron Hubbard. A man known for writing the most science fiction novels in the world. He was a Navy officer and later claimed to fame the infamous Church of Scientology. <laughs> now Jack Parsons and Hubbard were both occultists, and they studied directly under Aleister Crowley. They even shared the same wife. Crowley is known for being on the front cover of Sgt. Pepper's The Beatles, uh, his house was later occupied by Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin. Crowley known as the Beast, or 666 himself. Now Crowley hand chose Parsons to continue his rituals. And during this time, he was also running JPL, who was starting the foundation for NASA. The second prominent figure for NASA is Warner Von Braun. Warner Von Braun was born in Germany and he was a part of Adolf Hitler's Nazi regime of the Third Reich. He invented the V-2 rocket for Nazi Germany. But after World War II, he was moved to the United States under Operation Paperclip, along with 1,500 other Nazi scientists who later started NASA. Warner Von Braun was claimed to fame as inventing the Saturn V for America. Now Von Braun was slid into the public by showmen such as Walt Disney for ease of acceptance. A spaceship using an electromagnetic drive to neutralize gravity is the obvious answer. But such a device is still a dream for the future. However, at the present time, an atomic-powered spaceship has been suggested by a leading scientist in the rocket and guided missile field, Dr. Ernst Stuhlinger, who for some years has been working closely with the rocket engineer, Dr. Werner von Braun. This atomic electric spaceship features a revolutionary new principle that will make possible the long trip to Mars with only a small expenditure of fuel. So from Crowley to Jack Parsons, even L. Ron Hubbard, from Adolf Hitler to Werner von Braun, even Walt Disney, this has been a brief history of NASA.